Hi everyone, Nathan Nemer here from Mighty Lancer Games. Welcome to this evening's stream, where we shall be uh, working on a couple of different things. I'm going to be painting a bit more of this guy, the Wolf Demon, from the sub box. So I'm going to begin off just by putting a, a light grey highlight and of weathered stone over his fur, and then uh, I'm going to. Do a little bit on his on his face and get his eyeballs sorted and then uh, I've also got my axolotl here on my table and this will be my uh, duo and trio for the RCL September all completed we've got a couple of other things lined up to work on as well just in case I get these smashed off and uh, Mrs MLG over here is working on Oh, is that me talking? That's you talking now. <laughs> I am doing the poppets from 337. Uh, it's a Reaper Mini. He comes with a, they come with a little guy. I did this one yesterday. This little one, and I'm going to try and do these two. Um, I like them because they look like my tattoo. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, Hi Sharon, hi Wicked D, hi, hi John the Templar, how are we all today? Are we all happy? Are we all happy that it's Tuesday or just glad that Tuesday is over? My uh, my minis are these guys here. I can't say his name. So I, I could never paint him because I could never say his name. Hawthorne Crab. <laughs> but I think he looks like, what did I say, Mad-Eye Moody. Yeah. Um, from... That they're Harry Potter, because I think he does. I don't know if you can see him very well. He's got a lot of detail in him. I don't know when I'm ever actually going to paint him there, but I do think that's what he looks like. He does remind me of him. No, nope, no, nope, Wicked D, it's not Wednesday. Sorry. Sorry about that. Not Wednesday. Nearly Wednesday, though. Nearly Wednesday. So yes, so I'm going to paint, this is the one I did yesterday, and I'm going to paint this one. I want to paint this one slightly different, um, not entirely sure what I'm doing yet, as per usual. So there we go. And Mr MLG is going to keep his mini in shot, I'm sure he is, if we all shout at him lots when he doesn't. And then that'll be uh, cool. Yeah. So I am going to attempt to paint this guy with... Ashen Brown, Bone Shadow, and Beige. Now you might go, why those? Like, because I don't know what they look like. So I want to see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> want to see what they look like? He's currently got a mixture of black and ooh, black and something. I did it yesterday. And I can't remember what it is. I mixed brown and black together, but I can't remember which brown it was because I had it left over on my palette from doing the other one. Which is a bit rubbish in ticks, can't remember what it was. So I'm gonna give it a go with those. I don't know if you can see see my palette if I try and get that in focus. So we've got this one here is the Vallejo Beige, Beige World War Two. Then we've got that one there is Bone Shadow, and that one there is Ashen Brown. So I'm going to give them a go. That was proper Yorkshire, that one. Out. I'm going to give them a go and see what it looks like. No no other plan apart from wonder what they look like. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. And then you can see what they look like too, you see. You see them on the palette and see them and you know what the paints look like. I'm just, just being helpful for you, that's what it is. Just being extremely helpful. What colours are you uh, are you using, my darling? I'm currently using some Vallejo... Uh, glossy black to paint his teeth. I've decided I'm going to do his teeth black rather than traditional white. So a bit of glossy black on here, and then uh, I'm going to try and paint his. I should have really painted his tongue before I stuck his jaws together, but never mind. It's got like a. I don't know. It's got. Mm, I don't know whether I'll bother paint trying to paint his tongue. To be fair. Looks hard. <laughs> Looks hard. Uh, so we're going to 
just mix a tiny little bit of that gray in with some glossy black and we'll see if we can get a glossy gray just to do his nose and then I'm gonna paint his eyes yellow so I've just dotted those in white so I get a nice bright yellow and then uh, and then is is about done I think I might I might do a slightly lighter very fine edge highlight on these claws but then yeah he's uh, he's pretty much done that guy and then we'll get onto the axolotl awesome oh apart from his base but that would... i was gonna build a little bit of texture up around the edges here where is it there so on rather than it just being flat base base around the outside i was going to try and build a little bit of texture up with some of the citadel um texture paint stuff that I've got kicking around on here so well I guess we might do that as well while we're on uh, what was it I mean yellow let's get some yellow so let's get yellow. the let's let's get the best yellow my yellow the best yellow New pale yellow. saffron my yellow the best yellow oh, needs a bit more mixing not used it for a little while it's come out a little watery oh don't mess with my yellow yeah. Oof. There we go. Super. So, tiny little bit of yellow. I've got my uh, little tiny brush here. Oh, travesty today. Travesty. Not all of our Green Stuff World stuff has arrived in the building. Very disappointed in UPS. Um, and uh, apparently now it's coming tomorrow. So, no big lions tomorrow. I have to be at work in case it comes so we can sort the driver out. Because <laughs> he did delivery today, you're going to sort him out. Yeah, and that's it. Poor driver. Oh, that's a very pinky colour, that one. It's like a pinky colour, that one, if I just put it straight on. Uh, I've lost my mouse now. Me. If I just put that straight on to my uh, to my little guy, without any undercoat or anything, can you see how pink that ashen brown is? That's really pink. You could probably use that as a dog's nose or something. You could have used that for his nose. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit strange. What's that? Wicked D. I saw the DPD truck pull up and wondered if it would be... Yeah, well, so it was some of our uh, things. So we've got a large restock of... I've just got some uh, leftover uh, glossy black here. So I'm gonna, just going to use that on the shell of my beetle rather than let it dry. Because uh, I'm going to use some colour shift paint on this guy. So, which works best over a glossy undercoat. So I'm just going to use that up on him. Uh, DPD brought us a large restock of uh, Star Wars Legion today. And also new releases. So we've got Yoda uh, and Wookiee Warriors, which are new, all new. We've got those uh, on and added to the website. Indeed, one of our customers, as soon as he heard that they were in the building, like hot-footed it down to the store to pick them up straight away because he'd been eagerly waiting for them. Um, How did you hear they were in the building then? Did you just give them a ring and go? They're in the building. Yeah, one of, one of the guys uh, knew that he'd been waiting for him, so they sent him a message and told him. And then he raced down. I don't like these browns. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, darling? Oh, I don't know. I, I think I have kind of the same dilemma as, uh, as Sharon has, uh, where I just can't find a brown I actually like. And I like, I do like the wood stain, is it wood, st wood grain, which I can't even remember what it's called, so that's good. Wood grain from Villa Hill. Um, but I can't do ev everything in this colour. It can't, all the wood I ever paint can't be this colour. And I thought it might be a little bit too, it's, it's quite a reddy brown. I thought it might be a bit too much for a sack. So I was trying to find like a grey, grey brown. But brown's rubbish. I've decided brown's the worst colour in the world. I like flat earth. 
So I might just go back to flat earth. But again, it's not it's not a dark brown, it's just there. <laughs> so sacks. I'm not very good with sacks. And these guys are supposed to be made out of sacks. Yeah. See. I wanted something different to this one. I wanted more of an ashy colour. Yeah. And so ash and brown is not an ash brown. It's like a pinky colour. It's strange, you see, look. Yeah, like a pink pink colour. When I, I painted him I painted it onto this guy without an undercoat look. Yeah. Uh, this one at this yeah. side. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like pink. Mm. Look at it, can you see? Yeah. I mean yeah. I know he hasn't got any undercoat on him. Maybe a bit of uh, I think my mind just stick some on the other guy and see what it looks like. I'm going to stick some on the other guy and see what it looks like. <laughs> well, what's the worst that can happen? Ooh, what is the worst that can happen? And it makes him pink, look. Yeah, it's pink. That's weird. It's not ashy brown, is it? Pink. Look at that. Hi, Tony. I'm just Hi. chuntering. Chuntering about browns, as always. Brian Brown, I can't say that. Brian Wind Brown is ashy, but I think maybe it's just an old Reapercon paint. It sounds like a Reapercon paint, Brian, Brian Wind Brown. Why have they called it that? I can't say that. Yeah, My brain can't compute that word. Yeah, I think that possibly came in one of the uh, sets. I think we might have it. Right. Look how that's rubbish. I'm not impressed now. Right. Poop. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> John the Templar says so Mrs MLG is a flat earther oh, only uh, only when it comes to the paint <laughs> even though I mean the earth the earth really could be a star shape for all I know I never leave the house so it could it could be any shape it could just be the shape of our house and you could fall off every time you leave the front door yeah <laughs> Travelling to another dimension. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be cool though, wouldn't it? Just go to work, darling, you open the door and it's just a portal to the next place yeah. you need to go. That's what we need. Anyway, I've gone off on a little random tangent now. I was complaining about browns a minute ago. So you're painting glossy black. What glossy black are you using? Vallejo. Oh, the normal one. Yeah, the normal one. It is one. a good glossy black. So we've gone for flat earth is. now, everybody. See what this looks like. That's uh, that's flat earth there. It is slightly slightly browner. The light is kind of brighter. Isn't it? Glossy black. It's all good. So yeah, uh, green stuff world. Some green stuff world arrived from uh, DPD today. But not all of it. So we've got some uh, we've got some sprays, but not all of them. So we're missing. We're a drifter, a consignment or a box from uh, DPD. Don't know where, what's going on with that currently. But we've got um, the majority of our stuff that was coming with DPD. But we've got the bulk of it coming with UPS, which apparently now is coming tomorrow. So that's very strange that you send it with two different. Yeah, well, the DPD for ones that contain aerosols and ah. UPS for everything else, apparently. But you haven't got all your aerosols? No. No, we appear to be missing a uh, probably a, a large box worth of, uh, of sprays. I think there's four variants in the box that's missing. But they're all ones that we've already got. We, they, oh. were, they, were, they were just extra stock. That's not too bad then. No. So, but then the stuff that's coming with UPS is that's our main restock of other other lines. So last time it came with a different carrier, and that's why it got stuck in customs for ages. But this time it seems to be. Um, working fairly quickly but i think what's happened is it's just missed it's uh, missed its connection with leads who deliver our local stuff Hi, princess. Right. that'll do that'll do for now i'll have to work some paint into these under undersides 
and things. I need to do it now. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> well, I need to get a longer brush so I can get some uh, into into these recesses underneath and get all this other black on. No point wasting this paint, is there, and letting it dry. Need to. Uh, no, darling. Need to get it on. What's everybody else working on then? Anything exciting? Tuesday already. Tea, tea. What are you having for tea, Wicked D? Just put my hand in my wet paint. That's good, isn't it? That's no good. On me, on me tissue. Put me hand in my paint on me tissue. So as per usual, as per usual, we will be on until eight, and then we will um, steal you all and head over to Goblin Squire. Um, who I did notice had put a Twitter on saying that he was <clears throat> was streaming, so that's okay. Cool. And we've got a couple of things to do while we're watching, a um, couple of worky things to do, so yeah, I've, got I've got to go put too much there. black in that now, what a daft bed. I've got to go find some bases for somebody that I've uh, promised I would find him. Uh, right, let's have a look. Crazy Fish is doing Cruel, Bo Cruel Boys, the third set. Wicked D is having pasta, quiche, boiled potatoes and vegetables. That's far too, far too healthy, that, mm. isn't it? Vegetable. I ate an apple today and my body went, what's this? What's this fruit malarkey? Um, da -da 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 -da. My, uh, Sharon says my lilithid. Lilithid? Illithid. Illithid. Illithid bust. Tedious, but a lovely sculpt. Do you see my brain? Like my cog, you'd hear the cogs working then me trying to figure out what that says. Crazy Fish says, Did you guys get my two Trogoth order okay? No idea. Did we get a two Trogoth Ooh, order? I don't know. Uh, Tony says, Not much at the moment. I should pop up to the den and do some more of the Shogoth. I have to remember not to add an A in that when I say it. Hi, Pete. Pete's in the house. How's it going, Pete? Hi, not Pete. seen you for ages. Tony was keeping everybody hydrated while you've been away. Um, and Crazy Fish asks Tony if it's a dragon ogre shogoth. <laughs> There's too many. You should read chat. There's too many words. Uh, yeah, so uh, the shogoth um, dragon ogre or shagoth dragon ogre, whatever, is a GW uh, mini. Which is a particularly nice figure. I don't know if you can still get it. Uh, cool. Oh, there you go. Free hydrate. Is that because Pete? Pete that's because that's. Like, oh, I must hydrate. Yeah, yeah. Pete's in the house. Right then. So I need. Excuse me a second. I just need to go and get some mud. What? You're just gonna go in the garden? Yeah. I'm gonna go in the garden and get some mud. It has been raining. Uh, raining all day. We decided it was uh, Carl's fault in this chat. Discord been doing the rain dance, and now it's raining everywhere. <laughs> well, so nice much figure. power. I forgot that. What? There's some figures in this cupboard. If you fancy painting something a bit different. There you are. Maybe you can paint. Them. You've still got at least a book, one book there to do, haven't you? Yeah, he's, he's here. Ooh. Hmm. He's here. He's like being all grumpy. Well, there's not much of this left. Sat there going. Mm. The problem is that I know that if I do a bugbear, you can get your camera. Mm. Yeah, dear. If I do a bugbear, you're just going to attack us with it. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to uh, just use the other bugbear, isn't it? Mm. We, need, we need mates. Right, so. So, 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 so I have mixed together uh, Bone Shadow, Flat Earth, and Solid Black. I'm doing it now. Solid Black to Excuse make me. myself some slightly ashy brown. I was going to, before, before I get invested in doing that, I was going to. Just put a little highlight on that one. And I still don't like it. <laughs> Ta 
don't know. I have turned the mic on. It's on, it's on. I'm just a quiet little mouse. It's really hard for me, you know. <laughs> I've got the mouse here, look, to operate everything. And the camera is just there. Or I keep hitting it with my paintbrush. I don't know. Is it better? Does it not really echoey though when we've got both mics on? Does it not look really, is it not rubbish? So at the moment we've got both mics on. So this is me talking with mine. You talk with yours. Hi everybody. Just going to mix some, uh, just, hi. Is, uh, it, is it not really echoey or is it better when I just leave them both on and don't mess? No, it's fine. All right, I won't mess then. If it gets really echoey, I turn mine off, you see, normally. Stop messing and do some painting, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, but then if I leave mine on, you're going to be able to hear me chuntering at him under my breath. Are you going to paint in the, in the thing? Is that better? Well. Mm. How's that? I could put the mouse on it. Yep. What are you like? Oh, I'm like me, you know that. It's because there's no room. So, um, so Green Stuff World's still coming. Uh, what else? Uh, our, uh, our Games Workshop new releases stuff has arrived today, ready for us to start dispatching later in the week. So pre-orders should go out on time. On the whole, apart from the stuff that UPS have been kicking around the yeah. Oh yes, we've had some um, damages, haven't we? They look like someone just been playing football with some of the boxes. Yep. Lovely. Yep. Yeah, some some came today, Tony, um, and some's coming tomorrow. But I think what you're waiting for is coming tomorrow. Yeah, paint rack should be here tomorrow. But. Mister does know you're waiting, so he'll uh, he'll let me know when he adds them. Also, if you do that bit on the website where you put your email address in, it'll tell you as well. But it's up to you. I can tell you on there. I can tell you on Discord when he's added them. But like I said, I know I know you're not in any rush. But like I said before, he's got to get the order and then he's going to unpack it all, check it all off, and then he'll start adding stuff. And yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Right then, let's get some mud. So I've just put some Agrax Earthshade on my brown little puppety thing. Why are they called puppets? I don't know. Maybe they didn't want to call them puppets. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I didn't want to call them voodoo dolls. <laughs> yeah. John Tempest says, DPD have a bit of a bad rep. Yeah, our local drivers are pretty good. Um, it's UPS. And I, and I don't think it's even, it's not our driver. He's like pretty good. Oh, oh, <laughs> Did you know what that anymore? No. Was it because you knew it weren't in camera? So you thought if you throw it into yeah, camera, that's it. people can see what you're doing? That's it. That's um, in camera, isn't it? It is now, wasn't that, was it? Okay. Pete says, hydrate. I just have. Yeah. But I can have some more. Everybody hydrate. Come on, don't be sitting there at home without some hydration. I've got water in a warm pot brewery glass. What have you got, my dear? I've got uh, oh. Saint Etienne. Tony has subbed to Crazy Fish. That is extremely kind. That's very kind, kind of you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. That's very kind. And I, um, I went yesterday to check because... Reaper cake resubscribed and it didn't make any noise and that's terrible. I don't think it was. I don't think the settings were right. So hopefully, if you if people resubscribe, um, it should actually make some noise like it just did for Tony's very kind gift. And apparently, it's September, which means it's cheaper to oh, right. sub and do all things like that. I don't know. I don't really understand any of it. You should be able to use the um, little emotes now. Um, Awesome. Yeah. We had those made just for the stream. Yeah. Was it Katrina? Yeah, it was. So, yeah. I know yeah. that... Um, Have you she, heard anything back from that? No. I know that um, she's not in this country, so uh, sometimes she can manage... I think, I think she popped in on a Marvel stream, I think, 
for a little bit, but obviously it's a completely different time zone over there, so it's hard to to come in and see your handiwork. Mm -hmm. So I'm just using some Sterling Mud texture paint now. I know we, we've talked about this before. Normally, I would use some like filler or some other household product rather than using this, but uh, it was just in the drawer. So. <laughs> and, the fi and the filler's in the other room. So. I'm just going to use a bit of this to fill these gaps in around the edge, like that massive hole there, if you can see that, that huge gap from where I've glued it to the base. Have you put that on a different base then? Yeah, I've glued, glued the moulded base onto the top of a three inch circular base. Mm, why? Uh, because when I put him on the table in various games, it's a Reaper base, look, 74037. Uh, when I put him on the table for various other games, I want him to have a, a set uh, area that he oh, okay. fills. You see? What's this? Luminary Abyss says, By the way, you guys completely converted me to the filler. I was scared, but now I use it often. Woohoo! In the filler gang! Yeah. Yeah, it's just... I think it's not really... Uh... Hi, Moxie! Hi! You don't need to go to use these all expensive uh, no. filler products. Yeah, we, we, we like saving money. Which is one of the one of the reasons that we stock the stuff that we stock because we we like it and think it's value for money like when we started stocking the reaper miniatures we just think that they're a good value and you know we could we could easily try and flog you some oh you've got to use this textured blah blah, blah whatever but you know the fillers much better works right as well and and the, and the only fun. reason that i've got this one and and we've got a few others but you may notice that they have got so we've got some Magrell and Earth here. You may notice that they've got the old branding stuff on. And the reason that we've changed over, uh, or we, we've taken these and we've got these like in the cupboard at home, is because GW changed all the barcodes when they changed the branding for the thing. So none of them go through the till. So, oh dear, we'll have to have them at home. So, so I brought a couple home and left a couple in the painting box at the shop so we can use them, you see. They are good products for certain things, but you wouldn't want to base a massive, great big thing all in that and fill in all the gaps when the filler no. filler can get in all the the sheep filler can get in all the gaps and give you a good layer, and then you could just put that over the top if you wanted and save yourself a whole pot full. But anyway, yeah, glad you're having fun. One <laughs> yeah. went waffling on again, didn't I? Look how rubbish I am. Uh, Pete says, I've nearly got my painting desk set up, just need more days off. You've got days off, Pete? What's that all about? Yeah. So, um, cool. And Tony's lost his GW texture tool. I'm a bit gutted as I used it a lot for Scenic's work. Yeah, you've got, is it a box set or something that you've got? That, that you use? Yeah, so I've had my... It does uh, look quite old. Yeah, I've had this for a long time. This is the old Citadel set where you've got the texture tool and then a couple of sculpting tools and then they, they've kind of separated it out so now you can buy the texture tool separately which we do sell uh, in the shop and then the sculpting tools were available as a separate line but I think they've discontinued them now for some reason maybe they weren't as popular yeah but yeah you can still buy the texture tools we have them on the uh, on the rack with the paint brushes in store you know what will happen don't you Tony as soon as you get a new one you'll find your old one yeah that's what happens, and then you'd have two. <laughs> so earlier on, I just before the stream, I repainted the skin here on my because I decided it was too dark after seeing a few other people the way that they painted these uh, axolotls. <laughs> and you've been converted to our side. Yeah, yeah. So I decided that I'd started off with too dark a colour. So you can paint it however you want. I know, I know. But I wasn't really getting the effect that I wanted. So I repainted his skin, or the majority of his skin, with Ashen Rose as a base coat. And now I'm just putting some contrast Magos purple over the top. And, uh, and I'm going to see what that looks like once it's dry. But 
based on how it's currently going, uh, I think that this is going to be a winner. Ah, Sharon says, my problem is always not knowing stuff. Didn't didn't know anything about painting, crafting, building, etc. Well, that's, 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 what the, that's what the MLG community is for. Help everyone out. Yeah. Yeah. If we ask questions and things, then we all get to learn new stuff all together, don't we? Can't know everything. I don't know anything. Mm. <laughs> I'm exception to the rule. My head's just a big hole. I do like his little axe locker now. He yeah. looks, it, well, because he's not bright pink. <laughs> <laughs> he looks uh, more natural, more blondy. I can't remember what I did with mine. I don't know. Do you know? Oh, he's up there. I can see him. Kicking around. Kicking around up here. That one's mine. Oh, he looks very bright under this light. His head disappears. It's like ghost axolotl. He's not got a head. Woo! <laughs> ghost axolot axolotl. Yeah. So you're you're painting yours like me now, are you? You're just copying. Yeah. Why right, is this over you did with yours? Well, I didn't use contrast paint now because oh. they're over your side. No, I don't go over the, your side. They're in the middle. In the middle, because you were using them for all your zombies. I always forget. Yeah, I'm glad that you, you t said about them for the zombies. No, I used rosy skin. I used I used rosy pink for the brighter bits, and um, some other paint. <laughs> I can't remember what I used. <laughs> Then that's looking a lot better. So once, once <laughs> Jonas that's. Jonas didn't know you three years ago. Oh, you know us now. You know once us that's now. dried, I think that's going to look quite cool. Uh, Chris, Chris is awesome. talking of ghosts. What the heck was that flying around your shop at eleven o'clock? It was a fairy, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a daddy long legs. It was definitely a fairy. Yeah, they don't. They don't fly around during the day. So uh, they just they just set the cameras off at night. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I uh, can get the shop fairies to paint the terrain that needs painting. Do you think if I just like like the elves on the shoemaker? Do you think if I just left out paints and terrain, yeah. we'd get back the next morning and it'd be painted? Oh, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? That would be cool. Ghost chances Ghost Axolotl starring Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage is the same in everything. You quite like him, don't you? But I just think he's the same mm, in everything. Is that right? What, were, what was that thing we were watching the other day, and they were talking about the um, when he went on Wogan and like did the what? like he went on Wogan in the eighties. Oh, this is right. And, yeah. and he he like <laughs> does a no, it was, chucks um, all his money about. Yeah, yeah. So he ke he comes on like does a forward roll. Yeah. Stands up, starts like. Handing money out, throwing money into the crowd and stuff, and yeah, it was just looked absolutely line. bonkers. Fame, fame goes to your head. Yeah. It's a good job we're never going to be famous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Came along, didn't he? Like flashing his cash around and everything. Yeah. I once dressed as um, cousin. It and wore a hessian sack. Is this what I looked like? Wandering around. No, you looked like Cousin It because you'd stuck so much hair all over the hair outside extension. of it. You, act, you actually looked like Cousin It. It was awesome. It was pretty cool. <laughs> I, do admit, I couldn't see. <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was, it was good because we'd gone with another couple. So we did an Adam's family kind of yeah. compilation you, fancy you dress. Were Uncle Fe you look cool as Uncle Fester. That was good. So yeah, so I was Uncle Fester and I'd got a light bulb that lit up when I put it in my mouth as a prop. Well, I'm only guessing, Chris Fish. Chris Fish says I would never have guessed it was a daddy long leg. I'm only guessing. We weren't there. We were at home. No. It's fairy. <laughs> yeah, daddy long legs were riding a fairy. That's it, John. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You were Sorry. Uncle Fester. Yeah, so I was Uncle Fester and I got my light bulb. You did. And then... Uh, a couple of our friends, Zach and Katie, were Gomez and Morticia. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, and it was cool. Yeah, they went for the glamorous roles. The like Gomez and Morticia and us two, <laughs> us two being us two, went and, for uh, the not so glamorous roles. <laughs> There wasn't even a debate about it, was there? They were just like, oh, and because of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you decided. And they were like, yeah, that's fine. We never wanted to be that. <laughs> yeah, I spent hours sewing hair extensions onto a Hessian sack. It was cool, though. It was cool. Never, never be able to do it like that now. I wouldn't have time to make it. I still haven't started making yours for the Halloween fun day on the 30th of yeah. October at the shop. Free. Start mm-hmm. making your costumes. Yeah, Halloween. Ooh, you were right over there. That was a bit of a strange noise. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be, and I haven't started doing yours. So, which is not like me at all. But unfortunately, all of our old fancy dress costumes don't fit over my giant bottom anymore. So it's not even like I can dig one of the old costumes out and wear that. Oh, you've got a giant bottom. Well, it's more giant than it used to be. It certainly won't fit into any of the old costumes, that's for sure. And I think I might get too hot if I tried to put Cousin It on again. I think it's still got the leaves attached to it that I dragged on the walk home. (laughs) (laughs) Thing, yeah. But how would you do Thing though, Tony? Now, you can you get a uh, you can get a radio controlled thing. Can't you? Yeah, I saw somebody had put got one of these um, vacuum cleaners that goes around their house, you know, on its own, which I always think's a bit dodgy because it might get stuck or explode or something when you're not in. But anyway, it's just how my brain works. And they'd put um, a broom on it, so when you walked in, it looked like the broom's going around on its own, like a witch's broom. Mm, cool. Yeah, that looked cool. Excellent. There's his brown trousers. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After the discussion, then we realised that he's got brown trousers. Where's that money from then? Hassle-free. We can't stop them, though, can we? No. Unless they're big meanies. <laughs> no, they're not. They're not. Yeah. Cool. Nice figure. Nice figure. Right then, what uh, what else have I got to work on? Well, I'm waiting for that guy. Let's get some... Full blackout costume with a hand left exposed and made up in a blue-white. Or you just crawl around on the floor. That'd be cool. You should come to the Halloween party like that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Halloween fun day. Let's get some black on this. I used to like dressing up in in things where you couldn't tell who I was, like cousin it, so I was hiding, so no one knew it was me. And then you can just pretend you're the character and don't have to interact with people. Even though we went into one pub uh, and they said that I had to take the hat off so they could see my face in case I got into any trouble so they knew who I was. And I'm thinking, I can't even, I can't run away if I got into trouble. I've got all this, I've got this massive sack on covered in mm, hair. No, nobody else in here is going to be wearing this. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get away very fast. <laughs> and also, I don't cause trouble. I couldn't find my face to show him. There was, was too much hair. <laughs> You're not painting on the screen anymore. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Put it on the floor. Just putting a bit of. So I want to make the. Uh, obviously, need to paint the the end of the chainsaw metal. So I'm just going to do that in black. I'm going to do the same with the barrel of the shotgun. Boomstick. Yeah, it's boomstick. Yeah, 
I'm just trying to pick out the detail of her stitching and doing it in, in uh, skeleton bone from hand painting, which isn't quite as bright as it looks on the screen, but is quite bright because I'm wanting to put another wash over the top, which will dull it back down, is the general idea. Now I'm assuming that Hamish is streaming, but he's not here, is he? But when it gets to 8 o'clock, we'll go over and have a look. Might be having his tea. Might be having his tea. I haven't seen anything from him to say he's not. I don't follow football or anything, so I don't know if there's any sport on that he's watching. Mm, don't know. We don't do that there, sport. Trying not to uh, paint his hand. Oh, what have you been painting tonight? There's a lot of variation. There is, yeah. yeah. Continuation <laughs> of uh, last night's efforts so far. So we've got... Oh, hang on. I need to do this trigger area. Um, Tony and Wicked D were trying to think of new rewards since you took off paint left-handed. Oh, right. uh, they came up with painting marigolds, you know, but fancy marigolds with fur all around them, obviously. Not, not your run and build normal marigolds. Right. I don't think you thought of anything else, did you guys, that, you know, weren't ridiculously cruel? Paint upside down at one point was suggested. Not you being upside down, I don't think. I don't think I'd be able to hold you up by your ankles while you're painting. <laughs> uh, the miniature. And then may maybe you should get an electric shock for every time you're not painting on camera. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? <laughs> she says, yeah, she meant you. She meant you turn up so I won't be able to hold him. He weighs a lot less than I do, but I'm not that strong. I'd have to rig something up to hold him up there. Mm. What are you like? Was there actually any sensible suggestions? Did the pair of you think of anything that you would like to be a reward? Or, in, um, not a reward, is it? But you use your Lancer reward points on. So obviously we have Hat Me and Hydrate and all those things. If anybody else has any suggestions, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to take them up, but... <laughs> uh, Nathan, would it be possible to add a texture tool in with my pre-order bundle? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how about tequila shots? God, I can't drink tequila. I once drank a whole bottle of tequila before a hen night. Uh, never again. Never drinking that stuff again. Oh, Wiki D's thought of something better. Ultimate hydrate, says Pete. But you've got beer. That's not really hydrating, is it? Yeah. Scent Etienne isn't really uh, any hydration. It's got water in it. It's got water. It's just not really how it works. So guys, what and girls, what do we uh, what do we think to the colours? So this was the mix that I made to try and get an ashy colour, and that's more of a flat earth over the top of all the other colours that I didn't like. <laughs> uh, Wicked D says electric shock buzzer attached to the chair, and we use points to give him a shock. Do you just do you just not like him? I've caught Mrs. Elmo Jill being in charge of the button. I didn't press it. I, I, I love him too much to be shocking him with electric. That's just mean. Do you remember that? Uh, were you there, Wicked D, when our boss, uh, where we work, had a, one of those pens? And then you press the... So you say, oh, use this pen, and then you'd have to click it. And when you clicked it, it would give you an electric shock. Were you, were you around in those days when our boss used to electrocute us? So be like, oh yeah, use this pen. But it was really massive, and you'd think, well, that's something wrong with that pen. I used to try and shock everybody, which is nice, isn't it? <sighs> and now you weren't. Oh, you missed out on electric shock pen. <laughs> like, missed. I've got, I've got my own pen. No, you have to use this. I don't want to. <laughs> mm, missed, missed a treat. <laughs> yeah, you missed a treat there. Yeah. Oh, of course he felt it was absolutely hilarious. It, I am going to shock him in a minute though, if he doesn't start painting 
in camera. I am in camera. You are now. You can't do that. Paint, paint, paint. I am in camera. Like, yeah, when you move it, you are. See, normally I would chunter at him and you wouldn't be able to hear me going, get in camera. But he's got a mic on now, so I just have to say it out loud. <laughs> Um, so, demon guy's still drying, his, his uh, thing's still drying, but there's... Uh, this is dangerous. Demon guy. Demon, all oh, right. I like the fur, I think the fur looks really good on him. Thank you. I'm not saying the rest is rubbish, just the, uh, the bit that really stands out to me. I don't think my brain can comprehend what it's supposed to be. <clears> you know, with it having the sculpt, having all the claws and whatnot. Hi Goblin Square, we were just talking about you. Oh nice, of course. We were just saying that obviously at 8 o'clock we'll be coming over and that we assume that you're streaming. I'm sure I saw a tweet about it. I'm sure I saw a tweet about you streaming. We were just going to all come over and have a look anyway. <laughs> what are you painting tonight? It was it. It was it was a creature. It was a little a little creature. I'm sure it was. Oh, I can't remember what it was there. Terrible. It looks it looks very cute. I think it was was it a reaper? Was it a reaper one? Uh, John Templar says, paint roulette, spin a wheel, a colour wheel, and whatever colour it lands on, you have to use. Our Goblin Squire has a pick me a colour um, reward that people can to pick a colour that he has to put on the miniature somewhere. That's very brave. Oh, Japanese raccoon dog. That was it. Yeah, Japanese raccoon dog. Is that from the Daimyo expansion? What do you reckon to a colour wheel then? You have to spin. Yeah, why not? Oh, look, you see? Look at that, John. He says, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get him to print me a colour wheel out. That'll probably take the longest. <laughs> get him to print it. I need you to print a couple of things for me anyway. Yeah. What are they? Oh, stuff for school. Stuff for your daughter. Nothing exciting. No, not not as exciting as a colour wheel. Ricky D says, "Oh yeah." <laughs> says yes to John's ideas. That's because John's ideas were better than yours. <laughs> better than me holding Mr. MLJ up by his ankles while he painted Ricky D. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Goblin Square says it was a separate add-on. Oh, right. But it feels at home in that set. Oh. I don't know, there was so much stuff, wasn't there? Obviously, we didn't get it all, because, you know, no. that would have been ridiculous. I mean, it was already a ridiculous amount of money as it was. Oh, I've got shiny, shiny puppets now. I've got your your thing where my puppets have got to dry. Shiny puppets. I'm going to do blue eyes, blue button eyes. I think. So this guy's got his blue button eyes, which I did with uh, ultramarine blue from Reaper. Most of the paints I use are Reaper. Um, so he's got blue button eyes. I was going to make them all blue button eyes, but I'm not sure now if, you know, I should have one with green button eyes. Do you want to pick a colour? Do you want to pick a colour of your button eyes, John, to get the ball rolling? Which colour button eyes? Rather than me just doing them all blue, what do you think? I'll let you let you pick a colour if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. I'll pick my own. <laughs> what are you painting now? That's something different again. It is. This is the uh, the Minotaur that I undercoated yesterday. And uh, what's the Minotaur for? Nothing. Just you want to spin. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, if I can get him done, he's gonna be my monster. Oh, for the RCR. Yeah. Yeah, they're a bit behind. Um, with giving points out for the RCL at the moment. They haven't given points out since the 9th. They must be extremely busy after ReaperCon, I should imagine. But the cutoff for September entries for the RCL is uh, the 26th of September at 1900 hours um, CT time, so, you know, Texas time. So it's 1 a.m. in the morning on the 27th here in the UK. So yeah. Final countdown uh, music, Tony says. 
It is, it is. And, and, and please, can I have your pictures for the large group nature uh, by the, say, 25th? That's the day before I cut off, just so I could get all the pictures together and submit them pretty, please. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be like, ah! Uh, how about gold button eyes? I'm gonna have gold button eyes if you want, John. Uh, Mr. MLG always has a large selection of minis on a Tuesday. Does he say bits, bits off his desk? Uh, Goblin Squad says I finished my mini for the big group. I just need to get it on Discord. Awesome. Thanks, Pete. Pete's gonna get his in soon as well. There is a, a spreadsheet on Ash's spreadsheet that we use. I don't know if you all use Ash's spreadsheet, but there is a spreadsheet of all the. Uh, duo trios and large group that Ash has got permission for if anybody wants to join which is the uh, asthma on the display can't find the girls now I've got me, got me head in a cupboard looking for <laughs> looking for the paint is that the cupboard you were in earlier on when I ran? no it's not the cupboard I was in earlier on I was in a different cupboard earlier on mm. I know so many cupboards that I'm allowed in Mr. MLG rang me earlier when I was at work and I wasn't in the same room as my phone. And when I rang him back, I went, oh, sorry, I was in a cupboard. Hmm. <laughs> which, I, which I was, because you put all the boxes in front of the cupboard that I was trying to look in. Uh -huh. So it was nearly literally like I'd had to climb into the cupboard to find what I wanted because there was so much stuff piled up in front of it. I see. Good, I'm glad you see. I'm glad, I'm glad. So here we go. Oh. Let's see if I can paint these. Okay. Made, a, made a bit of a mess of that, but it's all right, we'll fix it. Why have you? Because uh, I've just put silver on his face. I didn't mean to. What glasses are you on? You ain't got your painting glasses on. I know. And you can't blame Wicked D for making, making you paint left-handed. No. I was just being clumsy. I think you paint better left-handed because you concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Concentrating so much. There you go. Woo. Yeah, I nearly found Narnia. Tony says I found Narnia. I don't know if I've ever actually read the books. The film was a bit I scary. Wasn't, uh, wasn't fast-paced enough. Oh, we, we, we could do feeling, uh, feeling left out because it didn't ask her what... But I was going to ask you next, we could do. Because uh, it didn't yeah, ask about her the what colour. buttons. Yeah, so she's just volunteered. Just volunteered now. I was actually going to ask her. Uh, dark purple or light purple? Probably dark purple, eh? Like a normal purple colour. Like this one. Royal purple. Normal. Normal purple. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, I've blocked up. Where have you dress making pins? Probably near you. What colour do you think I should paint the uh, skirt thing on me? Mine at all. Skirt thing. Is it a loin cloth? Yeah, that thing. Loin clothy bit on the mine at all. What colour should we do with that? I don't know. Are you showing us? Pink. Where's this pink? Can you show? So he's got this, uh, he's got this kind of... Tartan. Paint it tartan. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That'd be a bit extreme. That'd be a bit extreme. It's only because I was looking at my... Uh, Female minotaur this morning. Hmm. Vicky <laughs> D says it just popped into my head. Popped into my head. Oh, 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 oh. Custom poppets. Hmm. Well, come on, you've only got five minutes. I know. I've been doing everything red recently, haven't I? Let's go for uh, let's go for blue, green, malefic purple. 
that is that all right purpley colour for you? Sorry about the noise. Uh, so I'm going to use some Green Stuff World Malefic Purple for his, uh, which is which I think is more of a blue. I'm going to use that for his skirt bit. My wash is still wet. Bum, 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 bum. And then obviously we're going to make it look dirty because I'm sure minotaurs don't have access to good uh, washing facilities. Wikidee says that's definitely blue. It does look really, really blue on the camera. Mm. It does, doesn't it? Looks like an ultramarine yeah. or something. Yeah, it's slightly purpler -er 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 in real life, but not much. That's the problem, though, isn't it? That's why we have to paint with these colours so you can all see what they are. Yeah, I, I think they've mislabeled Abyss Blue. And malefic purple, maybe should be the other way around. Why is the blue purple? Yeah, the abyss blue is like a almost purple, and this is more <laughs> of a blue. <laughs> well, that's silly. Wonderful. It's nearly eight o'clock. I know. I know. So what have you actually done on stream today then? What what have I done? I think you've done loads, so what, yeah. what have you done? Well let's let's just have a quick recap. So we've uh, we've got this guy and we've done put the mud stuff around the outside of his base, dry brushed his fur dry brushed a bit onto his skin to make that a little bit brighter, highlighted his claws slightly, painted his teeth, his nose, his eyes. So he's uh, he's there or thereabouts done, just his base to finish. We've, uh, we've done malefic purple on the, uh, on the axolotl here, so he's just going to get a little bit of the highlight once he's fully dry and then he'll, his fur skin will be done, fur will be done. We've done Ash's trousers and done some bits of black here on there, painted his hair. So he's he's cool, Ashy Slashy. And then uh, onto the Minotaur. So silvered up the metal areas, which I'm going to go over with the Vallejo um, or Reaper steel wash. And then uh, done a couple of spots in black, and now we're working on this blue purple <laughs> abyss purple malefic purple do you don't even know what color it is oh, malefic purple and then so these like little metal pieces that are hanging off there i'm going to make gold or bronze thanks common square we'll see you in a minute see you soon thank you Right then. Excellent. And I've painted these two like this. <laughs> they still need some work doing. I need, I'm going to put some. There's a patch down here on this one. Where's this thing? There's a patch down here on this one, so I'm going to paint that purple to match his eyes. And then I'm going to put some dark brown. Um, like low lights in all the crevices and things on this little guy and then they'll both just get a boring base oh, I was gonna ask you are, you are you making them like a diorama or something? well I've only got the three right then so thank you very much for joining us tomorrow will be eight o'clock I don't know what he's painting tomorrow probably more stuff 
And yeah. now we will go over and see what Hamish is doing on his stream, which is still at the stream starting soon screen currently. So uh, we'll go over there and see what it's doing. Thank you all extremely, very, very much for coming to see us. We do like it having you all to chat to. It's very boring just talking to ourselves. Thank you very much. Thank and you, we'll everyone. See you, see you soon. On the other side in uh, Goblin Squire's channel. Thanks again, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.